What's going on, guys? The Cincinnati Bengals currently 8-0 and first in the AFC North. Are they really deserving to be undefeated right now is the question. Most of you guys really don't believe in the Cincinnati Bengals. Most of you guys really don't believe in Andy Dalton. But definitely this season, I hopped on the Cincinnati bandwagon. Andy Dalton, Gio Bernard, Jeremy Hill, A.J. Green... Marvin Jones, Muhammad Sanu. It's it's phenomenal. They really stepped up. They made it to the playoffs ever since Andy Dalton made his uh, rookie season, rookie debut, and then they just always fall apart in the first round. Will this year be any different? And will this year Andy Dalton be able to lead a 16-0 and season, halfway point at this season? Now we have wins against Oakland, San Diego, Baltimore, Kansas City, Seattle, Buffalo, Pittsburgh and Cleveland last Thursday. Now looking at those struggling teams that they did face, Oakland. Um, Oakland has a great team, but then again, that was week one where they were picking up last year's struggles. But Derek Carr has been amazing this season. Um, Phillip Rivers has been struggling all year. Um, Baltimore has been struggling as a team also. Kansas City's been up and down. Uh, Seattle really has been up and down. That was the, the closest of the games that Cincinnati played. Um, they beat Buffalo, who's been up and down as well. They beat Pittsburgh. Uh, Vic and Roethlisberger were both out that game, arguably. And then they beat a struggling Johnny Manziel in Cleveland on Thursday. Now, looking at their remaining schedule, they play this Monday night against Houston, who has been struggling as well. Brian Hoyer hasn't really been able to pick up the offense as, um, as they really would like him to. Um, so I think Andy Dalton goes down to uh, to he, uh, or stays home rather at Cincinnati and is able to beat a struggling Texan team. Now at the remaining schedule they have Arizona, St. Louis, Cleveland once again, Pittsburgh again, San Fran, Denver, and then Baltimore for their uh, second matchup to conclude the season. Now out of those matchups, I'm gonna say. Um, Denver will obviously, that's a Monday night game as well. That's going to be a huge matchup. And then we have the Sunday night game a week from this upcoming Sunday. That's against Arizona. Um, that's going to be a huge matchup as well. So looking at the remaining schedule, they should win, um, their last at least six, which brings them to, um, 14 and L and then obviously not in order. So, uh, Arizona and Denver most likely will challenge Andy Dalton. So if it was up to me, I'd say the Bengals end their season 14-2, and which is phenomenal for Andy Dalton and the whole Bengals team in itself. Now, can they go 16-0? and Definitely. Arizona, they could... Cincinnati and Arizona... Um, it could be a great Sunday night matchup. That could be a huge matchup. And then when they travel to Denver, um, Peyton Manning going up against the Bengals defense. The, uh, the Bengals could pretty much win as long as Andy Dalton produces as he's been doing, even if they lose in the first half. Andy Dalton has been coming back. That's what really makes Andy Dalton really great this year. If the if the uh, Cincinnati Bengals were struggling in the first half, say, and getting shut out or being or trailing the uh, the opponent, Andy Dalton really hasn't given up this season, which is which has made the Cincinnati Bengals really deserve to be eight and zero this year. Um, so looking at the remaining schedule for Cincinnati, I gotta say they remain. Um, they go at least. They win 14 of their uh, their games. They win six of their last eight at least. Um, but I'm going to say Arizona and Denver is really what challenges Andy Dalton this season. Not that the past opponents challenged him as well, like I said in Seattle, uh, when they were losing and Andy Dalton came back. Um, but I'm going to say my prediction is the Bengals finish their 2015-2016 season at 14-2, and two, obviously making the playoffs. And that will be a different topic for a different time.